One of the best things about diving is the effects of nitrogen narcosis. It's like being drunk underwater, but you don't get any of the hangover. Some divers get narked easier than others. It just depends on how deep you go and how susceptible you are to the calls of the nitrogen mistress. Now, as you all probably know, some people do pretty stupid stuff when drunk. All you have to do is visit your local drunk tank at the police station on a Friday night and ask what they're in for. Or if you're the one in the drunk tank, the, the cops will tell you why you're there in the following morning. But people do some stupid stuff when narked, and most people don't even know they're narked, so it can be useful for you to understand some telltale signs that your buddy is narked so that you can be the designated diver and look after them and get them home safely. And such, hi, I'm Mark, and here are five ways to tell if your dive buddy is narked. They keep staring at themselves in your mask. You're effectively drugged by the gas that you are breathing the deeper you go, and such your inhibitions are lessened. And as we all know, we are all narcissists at heart when we lose our inhibitions, aren't we? No. Lies. I mean, let's face it, I'll bet you anything that your social media picture is you scuba diving, isn't it? Hmm? Narked men and women are like magpies, and they love shiny objects. And when they look at you, they're probably not actually looking and engaging with you, they're just looking at themselves or the mirror copy of themselves from the mirror dimension in the shiny lens of your mask. You find them buddy breathing with a fish. I've actually heard this a couple of times, and this is the other type of drunk, the considerate drunk. These narked individuals will be concerned at all of the fish in the water and their lack of breathing apparatus. After all, they've spent a lot of time learning how important their regulators are and to always keep breathing. So they'll often donate their regulator to these fish that, to be honest, they, they don't really need it. They wave back at fish. I would do that normally. <laughs> hey, buddy. The third type of drunk is the happy drunk, who is observant and sees his crowds of fans in the fishes and all their little fins waving at them, so it would be rude not to wave back, right? Yeah, if your buddy is waving back at the fish, they're probably knocked, or, you know, way too young to be scuba diving. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I'm not too young. Mental age. <laughs> <clears throat> Fish are cool, and they move their pectorals pretty much all the time, but while they are aware that you are there, I'm sorry, but they, they ain't waving at you. Uh, they do it in Finding Nemo and Dory. Documentaries, those yeah. were. Their mask fogs underwater, and they spit in it. Much like people who defog the outside of their mask before a dive, you aren't going to get much benefit of spitting in your mask during the dive. I have seen this before, and it was a dive guide, so I really hope he wasn't knocked at the time. I just figure he was showing off. Your mask fogs up, and he spits in your mask. Blech. Yeah, enough said. Considerate of them, but just stay away from my mask. I can do it myself. Well, at least it's spit. It doesn't try and weed or something. Ah, uh -huh. I wouldn't put it past him. <clears throat> yeah, he's so knocked. He, he, he spits in his dry suit and he weeds on his mask. <laughs> So what have you seen in the wild from the rare underwater species Homo narcosis? Uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.